Hi guys, my name is Freddy and in this video series I will explain all the elements of the free Elementor page builder. In my opinion, the best page builder for WordPress. You can get it through ferdicorp.com forward slash Elementor. You can download it, upload it to your website and learn a ton of stuff about Elementor on this YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like it and if you are new here, please consider to subscribe for more upcoming WordPress tutorials. Now let's get started. In this video we will take a look at the video element and I think this is a great element. There are so many options, so let's dive right into it. I drag it over here and I have one big video. I want it to take less space so I duplicated the column and I delete this one. So let's see. The first option is it YouTube or Vimeo and at this moment I can find my own video. So I search for YouTube for the Corpus Hook. And I grab this video, copy the link address, make sure you don't have a timestamp at the end and then this is how it looks. My thumbnail from YouTube, the title and some other stuff and the play button. If I play it, you see this stuff. So what are the video options? Autoplay. Hi guys, my name is Freddy. It starts playing as soon as the page is loaded. Player control, if I uncheck this, I push play. Now I don't see the bar anymore. Player title and actions. Now it's gone. Like that, you only see YouTube over here. You can mute it so there will be no sound and you can put it on privacy mode. That means that YouTube does not store information of the viewer unless they view it. So as soon as they click on play, then YouTube will store their information. We can have a different image overlay like that. This one. How do we want to show it like that or just post thumbnail? I like it to be full. Do we want to have a play icon? If you turn that off, you only see an image. Do you want to see the video in the light box? A lot of options. So if I click on update and I take a look, when I click on it, it opens in the light box without any buttons. So I like that. A lot of great options. One more thing, you can say suggested videos. So if I end this video, then you will see different videos that are suggested by YouTube. I remove this one and I drag again the video over here. Now I go for Vimeo. You see a Vimeo placeholder and let's leave it at that. But if you want to, you can go to Vimeo I grab this one for instance, copy the link address. If I paste it, it looks like that. I can do autoplay so it starts playing immediately. I can loop it so after the video is finished it will start over again. Intro title, I can turn it off. Portray, turn it off. Byline, turn it off. The control colors, right now they are blue. I can make them green like that or in the style of the video, red. I can have an image overlay if I want to, but that's not necessary. And again, a light box. So if I update it, I click over here and I see that the light box version is not working. I don't know why, but it should. Maybe they will fix that. But those are the options. I really like it. If you click over here, it opens in a light box. You don't see the buttons. So there are a lot of possibilities using the video element within Elementor. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a ton of good stuff and feel free to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And then you will see me next time. Bye bye.